Welcome back to Mic Up or Shut Up. This is episode number two. I'm Chris Rogers. Sitting in the vicinity near me is Angie Rogers, Reagan Rogers. <laughs> Uh, Reagan Barrio, rather? Hey, Correct. Hey. We no longer go by that. That was muscle memory. That was muscle memory. <laughs> Bodie Barrio. Yes, sir. And a little shout out to our tech man, Reese Barrio, without whom this would not be possible. So Woo-hoo. appreciate it. <clears throat> also, uh, just to let you know, we are not going to uh, be talking about politics this time. We're going to give that a rest. Come back to that in an episode or two. There'll be plenty of time. Uh, plenty, of, plenty of time. Yep, plenty of time. It, okay. Although it does seem to me that everything always rolls back to politics. Yeah. You know what I everything, mean? Everything yeah. everything these days, even if you're talking about the most general of topics, it always peels back to politics. That is correct. Everything's so divided and so politically charged, you know? Yep. We'll try to stick away from it as far as we can, though. So maybe we could uh, quickly talk about the most difficult part about making a podcast, which is coming up with the name, for God's sakes. I mean, yeah, I, it was difficult. I, I was. mean, I know y'all don't know this, but originally I wanted to call it the podcasting couch because I thought we could interview sexy women every week. Yeah. And there was only one way they could possibly get on a podcast. No, we were. We're, 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 we're. It's a family show. It's a family show. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Truckers were blushing. Let's keep it on the low. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of amazed that. Uh, we kept thinking up the most amazing names for a podcast. And I was like, oh, my God, this is gold. We've nailed it. Oh, taken. Everybody's Every, already got everybody, it. Yeah. Yeah, everybody else Everyone on the earth else is has a podcast. Than we are yeah. faster than we are. <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah, we're late to the game. True. We're late to the game. But that's all right. No doubt. We're here now. <laughs> and the names that we thought of that we didn't use, we're not going to tell anyone just in case. Yeah, yeah. We might pick one up. We almost just made up a name. We just, our word. We were like, oh, right. we're just going to call the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Click Click <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> oh, taken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Good luck with that IRL. <laughs> URL. <laughs> Not IRL. Five Super. other people have tabbed that name. Yes. Yeah, it was tough. That was a no. Tough that was thing that was yeah. I mean, I was almost pulling my hair out. I mean, I don't have any hair, but if I would have had hair, I would have I would have pulled it out because man, I was. <laughs> We probably put too much time and energy into that anyway because who cares what the name of it is, right? That's true. It's, I yeah. care. You do? <laughs> I do. Yeah, I want to have a cool sounding name. Oh, is that yeah. what you want? What would what would you want, you know, your name to be? Blizz Blizz Blizz. Well, not Rogers. Oh. <laughs> Considering that hasn't been your name for twenty five years. Almost twenty six. Oh my goodness. That's next month. Twenty six years next month crazy congratulations yep. it was muscle memory i mean I, I, i'm gonna say i called a Ray rogers for many many Reagan years rogers. for many many years i called her that and reese rogers <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's talk about tiktok tiktok yep one Ooh, of my favorite Chinese one of my favorite spyware. topics yep <laughs> oh we're not supposed to do that Sorry. See how I did that? See? <laughs> I told you. Everything feels bad, yeah. buddy. Everything. <laughs> I do not have it on my phone. Actually, I feel like we should change the name. I don't think it should be called TikTok anymore. It really should be called the Darwin app because it's right. starting to weed out a lot of people, which I'm actually in favor of. You know, there's a lot of people that want to stop these TikTok challenges. I'm in favor of sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Eat all the Tide Pods you want. Exactly. Right? Eat them all. I was like, you know, I mean, the whole thing that got me thinking about this to begin with was that whole the jumping off the boat challenge. Which just on its face, when you hear it, you're like, I, I can't, I mean, it, it's it's unfathomable that yes. somebody said to another person, hey, I want you to get into a boat, go on full speed, and then just fucking jump out of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, con- I mean, water is concrete at a certain, at a certain speed. speed. I mean, yeah. it is concrete. That Correct. is a fact. Yeah. I thought everyone knew that. Well, no, but, you like, have to know the science of molecules and... Things like that. Yeah, some people learn. Well, don't they know that if you jump off a bridge, that's how you kill yourself because it's like right. It's not concrete. drowning. Yeah, it's not right. drowning. Yes. It's, it's the so impact. So you would yeah. think that they might connect the two, but apparently right. not. So the weird thing about it is, was it South Carolina? They said four people died yeah. from the challenge, and they all four broke their necks. Not you know. surprised. Right. Not surprised. Well, then here's the weird thing. So okay, now they're getting publicity about it and people started to talk about it well then the guy who's a sheriff or whatever that or he was in charge of like you know he was the guy that would go out fire and rescue. yeah yeah fire and rescue 
He would go out there whenever there was an accident. He's the one that said, yeah, four people killed themselves, broke their necks instantly, instant death. And then he said, no, I was taken out of context. That's not what happened. Yeah, he has retracted that four people died. Really? Yes. So, so four people didn't die, or did they die? Right. See, here's here's where... I mean, it's simple. Somebody right. either, either did or either not they, did. Either they broke right? their necks, or they didn't. That's correct. Right. Right. Either they were so, doing a TikTok challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they broke their necks, and he was pressured to... China probably sent some people over here to pressure me. Don't, uh, <laughs> I know China's listening right now. Right. <laughs> That's right. I don't think it was China. It was probably Biden. Well, oh my. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we're trying to stick. We're trying to stay, trying to stay out of pot. Some you. people just can't stop talking about politics. No, I'm telling you. I mean, it's I'm tough. just saying. It's a tough deal. The leap is not that hard. My favorite one was the cinnamon challenge. Right, cinnamon you nutmeg. Eat a tablespoon of cinnamon. Now you see, that's just people. Brilliant. People Please being morons. That. That's fine. Yeah, drink an entire gallon of milk in one go. You know, and in, and in hope surprise, you're gonna vomit up milk. Right. Yeah, I mean, people learning that. I don't have a problem with that because, yeah, that's. I mean, I do have a problem with it, but I mean, that's fine. So, I, but it's the stuff that is just so uh, so obvious, so deadly. obviously dangerous. Right. Yeah. That chewing you know, glass. You know. <laughs> so I actually started looking up some of the challenges that have either injured people severely or killed them. And can you, I and, say one of them? Yeah. Because I remember. Please. One of them is they would take boiling water and pour it on an unsuspecting person. An unsuspecting friend. Nice. Just pour boiling. And so they showed this dude. He was all fucking. Sc- so, he was all. Yeah, I mean, like he was all. He fucked was asleep up and, and his friends poured boiling water on him. Poured boiling water on him. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm all scarred up for life because you wanted to be in the challenge, and I did. <laughs> and I never consented to this. Yeah. I now have video proof in which to sue you with. Exactly. Wow, that's amazing. That's a win-win. I mean, some of these things, it's on, like, well, the, as we were talking about the Tide Pod challenge. It all started with the Tide Pod. I think that and was it just early that was, that was, totally was, went downhill from there. Yep. The hand sanitizer one was. Well, there, yeah, there, there was one where they wanted people to, uh, like, put hand sanitizer on a mirror and set it on fire so it would, like, flame out real quick. And other people started putting it on themselves so it would flame out. And, and some people were like, oh, I'll just put gasoline on myself. Set yeah, there's themself. a winner. Yeah, somebody, some. Some I think it was a twelve year old boy. He he poured gasoline on himself, set it on fire. He spent six months in jail and had to have fifty surgeries. In jail or in the hospital? I mean, in jail. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Mental. Hey, look, we just we just we just <laughs> free flowing, <laughs> talking. Things are gonna happen. In jail, I'm like, man. wow, that man. Not only was he burned and had hey. to have fifty surgeries, but they said, this, you know what? Six months in jail right, might teach right. you. Might teach you a lesson. Right. Hey, look, no, this is not scripted. We're just off the top of the head, so you know, right. hey, we just Sometimes the head warts, warts, warts and all, warts and all. All right. So some of the other ones were uh, the blackout challenge, where you choked yourself out. Or you got somebody else pass to pass out, yeah. Which there's some people that do that when it's not a TikTok job. Well, Taylor's your business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Taylor's. We, well, we can need. To, we're gonna come around to Taylor's your business. Oh, don't worry. Taylor's your business will be discussed. Let's see what. So, other one was. Uh, I can't believe I'm even saying this. This is uh, to take a huge amount of Benadryl oh. because it would make you hallucinate. Oh, wow. I did hear about that yeah, that's one. That's cute. Yeah, but you know what else taking a huge amount of Benadryl does? Yeah, it kills you. <laughs> yeah. Dead. Correct. Another one. Sleep forever. Another one which is truly unbelievable that anyone did was uh, marinate chicken in NyQuil. NyQuil chicken. Cook yeah, and I eat. Was, I was thinking And I was thinking to myself, has anyone ever tasted NyQuil before? Like, when I have a cold, I can't take NyQuil. Well, you can't take NyQuil anyway. Look. Yeah, it tastes like <laughs> it. it has nothing to do with whether or not I'm allergic to NyQuil. It is, we're talking about the taste right now, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to say, some people in this room like the taste of NyQuil. Well, some people in this room are stupid. I don't know who it is, but you're a moron. Look, red NyQuil <laughs> is where it's at when you're sick. I'm just saying. Oh, no, no. It will it will take care of the problem. I don't necessarily like the taste of NyQuil, but I enjoy being able to go to sleep right when I'm ready to go to sleep. So I don't mind the taste of NyQuil at all. Oh, but he only wants the original flavor. Yeah, yeah. I don't want Ooh, the green red, one? orange Ooh. crap. Just give me Ooh. the green mutant NyQuil. That's what I'm into. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. That's the good stuff. Okay, I'll take your word for it. It works, bro. That hurts so bad. <laughs> now, the last one I want to talk about, because I couldn't find confirmation that it was true, so... I guess it's fake, but Did I... Did you try TikTok? But I, I hope it's true. And that's the one where the girl 
takes the flat iron and she clamps it oh, down no. on her tongue. Yeah, I've, I've, that's a real. I thing. mean, that video looks real. I mean, oh, her. Oh yeah, well we don't know but, if she's got it plugged in or not. Right, right. exactly. Right. I mean, she did a pretty good job of seeming like she was in extreme pain, and I really hope that she, that it was plugged in, just be, just for the sake of right. that she even did it. But I don't know. There's people pointing out things like she flips her hair a couple of times while she's flapping around. I, but so I don't know. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find an article about how she lost her tongue and right. had to be amputated so it was or whatever. Third degree burned so, or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. But I like. Yeah. Seems like that would exist. That, right. If, so I guess I guess it was fake. But, oh, but what a bummer. Iron, right? What a bummer. I guess it can't all be real. Do you have TikTok on your phone? No. I don't either. I knew yeah, better than bad. to do it. People literally yeah. go down the rabbit hole with TikTok. Yeah, like oh, for yeah, hours. You just Correct. Lose yourself. Yep. Like I, we've literally seen people doing TikToks in Walmart before. Like kids doing dances in yep. the aisle at Walmart before. Mm-hmm. Well, it's sad when your child knows a song and it's only because they heard it on TikTok. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. And then what's even worse than that is the particular song that your child knows, you see another video with that song in it, and it is most inappropriate for children that age. Oh, I have no doubt. So, like my daughter, the song from Matilda, so uh, we always have to do what we're told, but surely every now and then we get a little bit naughty, <laughs> right? So you have no idea the videos that people are making with that little tune. And when they say the word naughty, they're flashing all of themselves. Oh, They're geez. exposing things. That, like, it's legit not something that I would want my daughter to be familiar with in that nature, you know? So, yeah, it's a bad thing. How about the one where the guy tapes a whole row of firecrackers around his belly? You know, this heavy set guy, he's probably, Shit. I don't know, five, four, maybe he's 300 pounds or more. So he's got a little gut, takes his shirt off, and he duct tapes about 500 <laughs> black cats around oh, his belly. Oh and his partner lights them up. And so then they're all all the way around his belly. And the whole time he's dancing around like an idiot because it hurts like hell. Right. And then jumps in a pile of snow. And when he comes out of the snow, He's got a belt of third degree burns all the way around himself. Now that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. You know, How many views did he get though? That's why he did it. Well, well yeah. Well, you know who's what's brilliant? That worth to you, the <laughs> friend that duct taped him and was like, "I'm not gonna." Yeah, I'm just gonna be the lighter guy. Actually, I've got I've got that story beat. Well, although it wasn't a TikTok video, it was for YouTube. So, <clears throat> we're at my friend Ashton's house one night, and he's like, "I gotta show you a video." Well, all right, let's do this. I don't know. They were like thirteen. 14, I guess. <laughs> One of the guys decides it would be hilarious if he got on his back, took off his pants. One of his friends took a like a, a firecracker, shoved a stick up his ass, lit it, and then the firecracker would shoot out of his ass. Roman candle. Blow up. No, it wasn't Roman candle. Oh, it was a I thought it was. No, no, no. So, well, what kind of firecracker? You know, shoots? you know, like the like the, I, I don't know. Oh. I want to say bottle rock, but it's not yep. a bottle rock. You know, it's got the little rectangular piece on the end. You light it, and it's got the long red it's, stick. Oh, like it's a, a bo- Saturn rocket. Yeah, I yeah, guess so. Okay. So he stuck. So yeah. Which first of all, before I tell you what happens, could you imagine if your best friend walked up to you and said, "Hey, I want you to <laughs> shove a firecracker <laughs> up my ass." Would you? And, would you help and, me out and, with and, this particular yeah. video that I'm right. making? And instantly, I'm put off right away. Hey, <laughs> yeah. can you help me make a video? Oh, man. <laughs> maybe that was his way of coming out. Well, maybe it was. Well, let me tell you. So, all right. So, there they are. Guy's on his back. He's got his knees up. You know, on his... Guy sticks a firecracker up his ass. Lights it. Okay. Fuse going. No problem. The instant, I mean, the millisecond that the fi- that the fuse touches the firecracker, and the and jet, the, of, the jet of fire shoots out to make the firecracker go, and it hits his taint. His butthole clenches up and holds the stick in place, so the firecracker can't go anywhere. Oh, no. Look, he screamed like a four-year-old little girl. No. It was just searing his taint and his ball. I mean, like, it is the funniest video because he's, he's jerking like he's having a seizure. Oh, uh, and then, of course, he just stays there and goes, Pow! Of course, it's the word taint. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 
Yeah, from I don't the remember. title of the video. Yeah, I know. I wish I knew. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I knew the title because it is hilarious. Yeah, I'll, I'll be forever thankful for Ashton oh, to show my. me that video. Yeah, it is. And I, and I remember thinking, no one knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> so thinking. his. What you're saying is, and I'm trying to keep it family friendly. <laughs> what you're saying is, the rectal muscles or his sphincter involuntarily contracted correct grabbing the rocket stick with a firm grip of titan <laughs> <laughs> and the rocket fire commenced to backblast his entire undercarriage oh yeah yeah <laughs> and at no point in time did the involuntary contraction of his sphincter release correct so there was no lift off there was no there was off. no lift off yeah i'm pretty sure he was shitting out of a bag too there's no way uh, it was all oh my god i mean it was just it was just sparks just oh, my oh god. it was it was well, he made good it was yeah, yeah, he yeah. Made amazing really yeah, his parents are proud his parents oh, are proud definitely first of all if i had been the moron and said hey can you film this i'd have been like can we not put this on youtube my friends like uh-uh no nope. too late yeah if you wanted to film buddy i put a stick up your ass now it's my turn youtube video bam upload chris yes just so you know if ever there's a day when you walk in my house and you say hey buddy i want you to help me make a video the answer is no <laughs> thank you it's not happening <coughs> yeah, I don't foresee that in my future. Just know that if he asked you, he already asked me first, and I said no. <laughs> my goodness. But, yeah, these videos, man, it's... Let me show people how stupid I am. Yeah. But, you know, the grandfather of that entire thing is probably Jackass. You're right. Yes. You're right. That is probably the thing that kicked it all off. Yep. Because as far back as I can remember, that's where the stupidity started. Yes, but Jackass was one small group of people that did this. These people are literally, like Jackass even has, don't do this at home. Like, don't don't try these stunts. TikTok is literally encouraging people oh. to be as stupid as possible <laughs> because the Chinese are trying to wipe out Americans. It, well, it makes me wonder... Like, how do you start a deadly TikTok challenge? Like, if I went on there and I was like, hey, guys, I got an idea. Wrap yourself in bubble wrap, get in the back of a pickup, head 65 down the highway, and then jump out the back. <laughs> you know? Would somebody do it? You know? Or if I said, hey, probably go to Africa, run through the tall grass for 100 yards, carrying a pot roast, and then limp like you're wounded. Yes. And see what happens. Yes. You know? Would somebody do it? They would do it. <laughs> yes. Because that is the sheep that we are creating in our youth technology commands them it's like a cult right you know i was told by a relative who shall be unnamed that they were <laughs> the smartest generation ever because they have cell phones and have access to the internet they believe that they do believe they that really i know they, they do believe that but they really a, have no idea that they're the most ignorant they are the dumbest generation yeah. that's ever lived yep, that's including correct. cavemen and the thing is <laughs> there is a difference between being able to look up something on Google and knowing something, you know, if, if I said to you, how many miles is it from Earth to the moon and you Googled it, that doesn't make you a fucking astronomer. Right. It you know? also doesn't make the information you Google correct. No, no. Everything on the Internet is true. So okay. been, well, that's what right. I've been told. Well, yeah. In fact, I've seen somebody on YouTube saying this is how you make your tires into snow tires. You take some three-inch wood screws and drill it into the tire all the way around it, and it makes it a snow tire. Yeah. <laughs> so it just so happened the other night that Bodie was watching a guy, I believe it was on Twitch, and he wanted to show that anything could be changed on Wikipedia by mm -hmm. anyone. Mm -hmm. Well... I don't think even he realized how easily it could be done. And when he went and changed it, like, it changed. And then he was trying to figure out how to unchange it because clearly it was not accurate information. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to be responsible for it. And he was having trouble changing it back. Yeah. Yeah, just the fact that anybody, and that's why I never look at anything on Wikipedia. Right. Because anybody can edit that. Right. And make it say anything they want to make it say. Yep. So, what's the point? That's a good question. Oh, yeah. 
They are the most ignorant generation, though. There's no doubt. Like, the knowledge you're talking about, it's one thing to think you know something or to be able to get that access and information from somewhere else and another thing to know it. The molecular structure of H2O at 60 miles per hour is probably something that these <laughs> should TikTok people yeah. should probably know. Right, you yeah. Know? Before you jump out of a boat, yeah, right. what happens? Yeah, just right. Google. What <laughs> happens if you jump out of a boat going 75 miles an hour? Right. Yeah. Does water feel like water? <laughs> right. I just yeah. want to know. Right. <laughs> is it going to cushion my fall? <laughs> probably not. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing how dumb they truly are. Like, I don't think we can stress enough how dumb they are. There's a YouTube channel which I love to watch, called Justin Awad. It's the guy's name, Justin Awad. And what he does is he just goes around and he only asks millennials and Gen Z questions, which I think he really mostly focuses on Gen Z. And he asks the most basic questions you could possibly ask. I mean, they couldn't get any simpler. Right. And they don't know it. Right. And what I love... Like them, how many states are in the United right, States Right, exactly. Uh, right. Even and more, even, no idea. Yeah, even more basic really than don't. that, though. And what's, what I love about him, what makes him so great, is that no matter what answer they give, he goes, correct. correct. Right. <laughs> and they, they think, right. oh, I got it. I guess. Right. I just guess. And you're cocky about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. All my friends tell me I'm smart. You know, like, yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> right. You know, but I mean, he asks questions like, you're like, what the fuck? Like, he'll say, uh, how many in a dozen? And I swear to you, he asked multiple people, and every single person responds. Dozen what? No, yeah, it was right. a dozen what? A dozen what? And so he'd right. be like, well, it doesn't matter. Let's say a dozen eggs. And you know what everyone's response was? Ten. Ten. Every person said ten. Uh, so I don't know how, where are they coming up with the ten number that they all think it. I don't, I don't know. know. But then he'll ask him other stuff like he'll say, uh, "What uh, what continent are you on?" And they'll go, "The United States." <laughs> you know? I mean, I saw one that said, "What is the capital city of Texas?" And the little chick, you know, probably nineteen years old, said Argentina. And he said, correct. <laughs> <laughs> yep, right. No, I know. I love, I, I, love when he, I love when he does that because he looks right at the camera and he's like, correct. And they're like, yeah. And, so, and sometimes okay. sometimes he'll play him out. He'll be like, correct. Wow. Did you just guess that? And they're like, yeah, I just guess. He's like, yeah. wow, that's a great guess. Can't yeah. believe I did yeah. that. <laughs> then I'll ask him about change, too. He's like, how many? How much oh, is like my. three dimes and like two pennies and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, and he's like, whoa, whoa. They're going, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't know there was going to be any math on this. Right. <laughs> People, seriously, this is a huge problem. People that work a cash register for a living. Oh, and the power goes out, and they're like, I can't do anything. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, literally, do you not know that if somebody gives you a $5 bill, like, you can just count up from what they owe to get to $5? Correct. Like, there's basic ways to do it if you can't do it in your head. These people have no clue. Mm-hmm. And we mentioned this last episode that when we all die off, they're doomed. Oh, they are doomed. Because that is they're a so fact. Stupid. <laughs> but you know, even before that, think about this: they are so dumb. Just there's, well, I mean, there's just no, there's funny. just no getting around it. I mean, I just but, can't stress enough how stupid no they offense, are. No offense, Reese. Right, right. It's your generation, Reese, but you guys are a no bunch offense. of yeah. Maybe not you personally, but you're surrounded by a bunch of dumb fucks. <laughs> they are so dumb there's no possible way that they will ever innovate create anything new uh, nothing I mean they, they've got nothing yeah they're far too dependent they, on other people's knowledge already yep yep they they've can't never had to think for themselves ever yep ever. I mean they can't do anything they can't create music they can't you know, movies they can't write books much less invent a new technology that's going to change the world that's definitely not going to happen correct so there's no more technology and then we die, and there's nobody to tell them what's right or wrong. No, no, don't jump out this boat. They, it's over. It is over. So how do we save them, Chris? How I don't want to save, save the world. Them. No, I don't want to save them. So I'm just going to, this is kind of tied into. How do we into, save the world, though? Oh, yeah. Not saving that generation, but how do we save the world? Well, maybe not interrupting your wife would be a first good step. But Ooh. Ooh. Slow down, big dog. <laughs> Slow down. Because hey. I asked that question before you started speaking. Viva la patria. <clears throat> okay. So, a big problem is the phones, okay? And thank God tomorrow is the last first day of high school in this house. (laughs) Um, We will be out of public school after this year. Hallelujah. But the biggest thing that I have witnessed is cell phones and how people deal with them. And I always thought, you know, of course, what did they first do when cell phones got really, really popular? 
you can't have cell phones at school. They have to be in your locker until yep. school's over. If you're caught with them, we're going to confiscate them. First time might be 15 days. The second time is wow, 30 days. really? Yeah, that lasted like a year until parents started saying, I pay this freaking phone bill. Mm -hmm. You're not taking my kid's phone yeah. for this long. So, of course, it just changed to we'll confiscate it for the day. Then the parent got to come pick it up, blah, blah, blah. Well, I always thought, you know, you see all these videos of fights at school and all the, you mm -hmm. know, kids are filming this. And I'm going, how are they doing this? My kid, you know, would get caught with their cell phone. Until we went to an event at another school last year, and literally every student at recess was walking with a phone in their hand <laughs> in the hallway. So apparently some school districts actually allow yep. kids to have their cell phones. And so our St. Mary Parish apparently is one in few that does not allow them to just have their phones hmm. during the school day. Well, that's what I thought. So even our education system is contributing yep. to the being just totally dependent on these things that I don't know how they get from one class to another because they're all looking at the yep. phone. Yep. Nobody's looking at where they're going. They're yep. all looking down at the phone. Yep. And I see it now when we're hiring people under 21 years of age, they can't do their job because they can't leave their phone that long. They're constantly having to go check their phone. For what, I don't know. But, you know. Streaks. And, well. <laughs> or TikToks, probably, you yeah, know. TikTok. But it's, it's. The fact that you know streaks is, means that you have millennials. It means I do have dumb children. I can tell you <laughs> no that offense. people that lose their job, it may not be directly because of the phone, but in some way it has something to do yeah. with the phone. Either they're yep. not doing enough work because of the phone or they're That's crazy. I, I mean they and it's it's all under twenty one at least. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the older ones can control it a little better. But yeah, if they're under twenty one, they sit in the back on the phone when they got a list a mile long of stuff to do. Yep. They can't pull their themselves away from the phone. It's unbelievable. What's really what's really crazy about phones is it is you know a lot of parents they just go uh, oh I got a two year old here's his phone now I don't have to worry about yes. you and I'm gonna yeah. tell you right now it, it it all a, a child who was raised staring at a cell phone it alters the way their brain is formed I have I have no doubt because I've noticed some strange things I used to babysit mm -hmm. and uh, I I I noticed that these generations are different than previous generations because they would do strange things and when I pointed out to my friends like yeah I was I noticed the same thing with my nephew, and that is uh, they, they'll uh, they'll go, hey, I want to watch a cartoon. Said, okay, what you want to watch? Ghostbusters. All right, bam, I put in Ghostbusters. Well, then they never, they would never look at the television. They would just be screwing around, doing whatever. So okay, a couple of episodes roll by, and I'm like, I'm, I'm tired of watching Ghostbusters, so I turn it off. Well, then instantly they would stop. They turn around and go, hey, what are you doing? You turn off Ghostbusters? Yeah, because you weren't watching it. Huh, huh, huh. They just wanted it to be in the background. Sure. You know, and he said his nephew would do the same thing. He'd ask for something on, you put it on, and he wouldn't look at it. He wouldn't. They would even say, "Hey, we turned it on. Look at it," and he would refuse to look at it. They just want the the sound, which is that's bizarre. Really, that strange, is bizarre to me. You know, because Poor, you can't make it make sense. No, that's right. You can't. And <clears> also, <throat> something that happened that made me go, "What the hell?" Uh, a buddy of mine, we was we were standing around talking to each other at work, and uh, he was, we were talking about the Star Wars new star wars movies and i was like hey i'm not down with new star wars this is, you know original trilogy for me so he was like oh man no did you watch uh did you watch rogue one and i said hey i just told you i don't know i didn't watch it you know i'm not i'm not i don't want to watch any new star wars he said no you really need to watch rogue one because they took old deleted scenes from the very first star wars movie that had peter cushion in them and they and they cut them into the movie they they wrote scenes around it to fit them in i was like what i have never heard of deleted peter cushion scenes in star wars this is interesting. Plus, how the hell did they manage to take whatever was in those leading scenes where I didn't fit in whatever movie they wrote? Right. I was like, all right, you got me. I'm going to watch it. So I went home. I watched it. And that's not what they did. There were no deleted scenes with Peter Cushing. They just literally CGI'd Peter Cushing. And it looked so terrible that it was horrible graphics even for a video game. Hmm. You know, I mean, it was, I mean, it was not even close to looking realistic at all. So the next day... I go back to work and I'm like, dickhead, 
That yeah. was terrible. I, right. That movie was terrible, and that wasn't deleted Peter Cushing scenes. That was not really him. That was CGI. And he was like, really? <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, holy crap. You have can't, no idea. I guess because he's been staring at screens and he has no idea what real life looks like. I don't know. <laughs> at first, I thought he was screwing with me, but he wasn't. He really thought it was deleted scenes with Peter Cushing. And when you watch that, I mean, it is, in, I mean, that would be like pre viz on a real movie, you know? Yeah. Where it was like, oh, this is, this is going to change. This is crappy graphics, but this is just a placeholder. That, that's how bad it Terrible. was. Yeah. And, and he thought it was real life. So I, and, you know, and he was a younger man. So I'm assuming it's because his brain was raised on a cell phone. Sure. Well, we talked about this with a very good friend of mine a month or so back. Who is in that generation? And she says, and I've told her many times that I think that cell phones are making people stupid. Not only are they making people stupid, they're making people socially awkward, yep. yes. socially inept, and unable to communicate with other human beings face to face. And she is that age. And she says, yes, it's absolutely true. It's impossible to go on dates, it's impossible to actually meet with a person. When they have to, they can they can talk and they can snap and they can message and things all day long. But when it comes time to actually getting face to face, neither one of them have any idea how to act. They're not sure of what the convention is for that interaction. And she feels crippled by it, you know. And it's not just her, it's the entirety of that generation. They're so dependent upon social media and text messaging my daughter, for example, has no idea how to even make a phone call. I tell her, like, she's got doctor's appointments to make or, you know, some other professional type obligation that she needs to do. She says, oh, can you call him for me? Can you call him for me? Scared to death of putting her voice on a phone call, you know, because yeah. that's not something that they're used to. They literally have no idea how to do anything. And that's what cell phones are doing. And it's way worse than that. That's just a couple of examples, you know. Right. It's yep. way worse. It goes so much deeper. Yeah, and I've told you before, uh, you know, before Gen Z was around, it was just millennials. They were young, and people were starting to look at the effects of cell phones on, on young people. They actually they did a study, and they, they determined that, uh, I don't know what the exact numbers are, because I don't do research for this podcast. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you know, why be what? professional? We could just uh, we could just wing it. Uh, hey, that's no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't I'm matter. all about winging. So it. the point is, the point is, a majority of millennials were unable to look at a person that was talking to them and determine if they were being lied to. Yeah. Because th all they did was text, so they had no idea about facial cues. Right. Somebody was, right. You, know, you can't was, see yeah. a lie in right. print. That's right. Yeah. So that's not a good trait to have as a human being. Right. Um, Yes, That's my kids I'm often sorry. wonder how I can tell that they're lying. I often tell them, I know what you're going to say before you say it. Like, I know the answer before I ask the question. And they often wonder how I do it. And it's because we have the old-fashioned lie detector. Right. We, we parents know what's going on in our house without you having to tell us. We're giving you the opportunity to fess up. They don't get that. And they still try to lie their way out of it until we call them out you know before they finally uh admit to it but yeah it's it's unbelievable because they still try to lie and they're terrible at it <laughs> yes, thank god are. right thank god yes, they are. <laughs> do you make a rule that y'all have to put phones down whenever y'all eat yes if we eat a family meal together we do we make it that rule when we go out to eat yep. phones always oh if we're out to eat for sure mm -hmm. and let me tell you being a server Oh, that is one of my worst pet peeves. I cannot stand when somebody's on the freaking phone it's and rude. I'm trying to wait on them. Not only that, the other night, I had two guys at a table and they had the phone on the speaker. That, oh my God, that is one of my biggest pet peeves. And if they're if the speaker's loud, oh. Like, you don't go to a fine dining establishment to have a, a meeting on the phone. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. And so you can get mad at me because I'm avoiding your table when you're on the phone. I ain't got time for that. I got other people who are going to, you know, want my time and need my time and will have time for me who are not on the phone. So if you're on the phone, I'm walking right past you. You go, girl. Uh, it's the truth. <laughs> it's the absolute truth. Yep. I think it's rude. It is rude. Well, I can't stand when people have their phones on speaker. I cannot stand it. Uh, one last thing about cell phones I want to say, unless y'all have something else to say. 
which was go. confirmed last week. This was this I've had a theory for quite a while. It was confirmed last week. And that theory is that your cell phones definitely 100% listen to you. Oh, <laughs> okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, f- for a while I thought it was my TV because you know we we talk about something random like we talk about oh you remember a children's book we you know I used to read it was my favorite children's book when I was a kid or whatever and then suddenly there'd be a YouTube video that would pop up my feed that would be something about a children's book and I was like hey that's pretty suspicious and what a coincidence well I, when I finally decided yes the TV is definitely listening to us is we were watching uh, I have um, the original um, Batman series the 60s Batman series with Adam West okay and so we were watching an episode with uh, Black Black Widow was the villain. Yes. So Angie's, it was this old lady, you know, she had this real raspy voice. And Angie was like, man, who is that actress? And I said, oh, that's Tallulah Bankhead. She was famous for having that, that raspy voice. Mm-hmm. And so Angie was like, well, whatever happened to Tallulah Bankhead? I've, ne- I've never seen her anything <laughs> else. And so we talked about her, you know, we actually talked about what happened to her. You know, I was like, yeah, she smoked. She was a smoker. I think she died of cancer possibly, you know. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. The next day. There's a YouTube video that comes up on my feed, The Life of Tallulah Bankhead. No. There is no possible way <laughs> that is a coincidence. So I've been telling people, hey, your phone, your TV listens to you. Right, nope, nope, nope. Well, it's the phone. It's not the TV, it's the phone. Because right. I was over here last week, and we were talking, I was trying to enlighten you guys about the back rooms. And while we're talking about the back rooms, you mentioned, uh, what, what was the uh, thing you mentioned about the documents? Uh, you know the classified SRP, the, the fake you know the classified no, documents the, the SCP Foundation yes okay so we talk about that I go home the next day there is a YouTube video about the SCP Foundation which I have never mentioned in my house right and never looked up ever because I had never heard of it before right so that means that my phone was listening to me and oh, sending yeah. signals to my TV yeah it's crazy. That is it's insane. A wild situation. That is insane. The same thing has happened to not only you, but probably millions of other people as well. Right. I get it. Like, one time Reagan and I were texting about getting a new set of tires for the Civic because the tires were worn out and they had started to dry rot, so we didn't want to be driving long distances on the tires. They're in bad shape. Five minutes later, I'm looking through Facebook, and all of my Facebook feed is with tire sales. So, oh, new, brand new tires for sale, brand new tires for sale. It was unreal, unreal. But that's a text. So your phone is already reading that. Yes. So you can kind of say, well, yeah, my phone's already into that. I'm sure that they're digging into my text messages and everything else that's on my phone already. But then we continued, and we had a conversation where I wasn't texting. We were actually just talking right next to each other about a cruise and then all of a sudden on YouTube is all these carnival cruise, celebrity cruises, this cruises, that cruises. And nobody ever put that into the phone. There was no text message or no typing or no Google search. It was just her and I having a conversation. So that's next level. Right. You know? The text messaging thing you can kinda understand because it's already in yeah, the, the phone. Technology. Right, yes. You're, but you're putting it directly in the phone. When it's yeah. the speaker that's picking up your voice, that's right. some freaky, scary right. business, you know? Right. It makes Ooh. me it makes me wonder, like, if we started talking about some crazy shit, random shit like spying on the government or something like that, what yeah. would happen? You right. Know? Like, right. I don't know. What if we started talking about an assassination attempt? Right. You know? Yeah. Right. We what what would happen? Yeah, exactly. Door, that's what exactly. Yeah. Would we end up on a list? Yeah. Wow. That's a good question. Actually, it depends on who's listening. If well, it's that's true. Listening, yeah, might, like, yeah, 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 we got him. We got him. TikTok's doing his job. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My goodness. Well, let's see if we get um, ads for weapons. I have been getting, oh, yeah. I have oh, been yeah. getting ads for Alaska. They might give Alaska. us ones free if they knew we were trying to plan that, right? If that was a thing. Alaska's all over my Facebook feed right now. Yep. You know, I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on for a minute and say, just as a disclaimer, I'm not actually planning an assassination on the president. Of the- <laughs> correct. That is correct. Yeah. That is well, you never said the president. Satire. You just said an assassination. It could have been the assassination oh, yeah. of the assassination supermarket manager. Ants. Yeah. Going you know, you don't know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Although the algorithm might be clever enough to go, oh. I don't know. That's what everybody always tells me. Oh, no, no. It's not because they listen to you. It's because the algorithm is so good at figuring out what it is you're going to research. Lies. Well, I don't know this AI thing. Have you seen some of this Yeah, AI? I don't know about this AI. Man, I don't this know. AI. There's a lot of people freaked out calling it the next Skynet. You know, yeah, it's and, not. It's I don't not. know. Technology is not that advanced yet. I mean, it's not advanced yet, but it's 
it's a, at the very infant stages of uh, some pretty real stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, you know, AI is real, but it's not advanced. It's not self-aware. No, when it becomes oh, self-aware, oh that's when we're screwed. Yeah, yeah, that's that, screwed. hopefully that doesn't <laughs> yeah. happen. Yeah, right. Well, but the there. the warning is that they're getting close enough that AI will become smarter than the person who programmed yeah. it. Well, I was also told that they were going to bring Woolly Mammoths back in 2018. So since that hadn't happened, I'm pretty sure they're lying about this AI business. Well, slow it's down, AI. Mr. Alien Believer. Hey, oh, no, no. I think that, that could be the next episode. Because hey, you look. can't sit there and say, oh, woolly mammoths, and since that didn't happen, now you're saying that aliens are real. And oh, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> but we will discuss that in the next episode. Well, maybe they were going to bring woolly mammoths back, but then they saw Jurassic Park and thought twice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think they were just lying about what they could accomplish. I mean, there's a lot of things they said they were going to bring back to life. Thylacine. Uh, Thylacine, which is a Tasmanian. The devil. Tasmanian, yeah, the devil. Tasmanian. No, not the Tasmanian, the Tasmanian uh, tiger. Tiger. Yeah. But I think the Tasmanian uh, tiger is still alive anyway. They don't have to bring it back. That's a, that's another discussion. I mean, that's a whole other uh-huh. thing. There's a whole lot. Uh, yeah. There's a whole well, lot like of the Meg? There's a whole lot of stuff I'm missing. No, the Meg is <laughs> not. The Meg is not real. The Meg is not real. How do you know? The How do you know? Uh, because you can't hide fifty foot great white sharks. That's what why. you mean you can't hide it. <laughs> you you all understand? Over? You know how long depths? it took them to find the Titanic? Do you understand the depths of the ocean? There oh are parts God, of the ocean fantastic. that no man will ever see. Well, they're still discovering shit today. Stuff. Yes, they are. <laughs> Oh my God! He said, oh, yes, he but said he's the not my wife. <laughs> Dude, I warned my mom that I dropped the f bomb last. Yeah, you like, were. You, I was actually I blushing, pipe. man. I was like, "What? Who is this woman I married?" Right? Man, it's I, all your fault. Oh, I was good up. before I'm I met you. Yeah, yeah, you did that. Yeah, to you, her. yeah, he right. did. That's what she That's tells people. Freaking That's what she tells people. All right, we're at the five minute mark here, so I guess it's time. For the uh, old movie recommendation. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Time. All right. So oh. <clears throat> she wants me to throw a curveball <laughs> episode number two. So I'm down for it. Hey, okay. I'm going to keep the audience guessing. I never know what kind of movie I'm going to recommend. Let so, us have it. All right. So Ebert. this. Yep. So this movie is Secretary from 2002, starring James Spader and Maggie Gyllenhaal. Mm, James Spader. She uh she likes James. Spader. Oh, she got a thing She's, for him. She she enjoys, always she enjoys James Spader. I I am also a fan. I I will be mentioning his name more than once. You too. Oh, I mean, would you let him? Let me put you. a firecracker in your. Butt? No, I wouldn't let him put a firecracker in my butt. <laughs> However, if I under some strange circumstance had to turn gay, I just had to do it. Uh, you could do you, you, you could do worse than James Spader. That's all I'm saying. Under, okay. <laughs> Under what circumstance would that be? Well, I don't know. You know, if a guy, a guy put a gun in my hand, he was like, hey, turn gay or I'm pulling the trigger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but then when the gun's not on your head, would he, I mean, do, are you allowed to not be gay anymore? Is that a thing? Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. No, no. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying, like, I'm the exact opposite of gay. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not me. It's right. It's right? just it's not who not I am. It's not who I am. That's right. That's it's just right. not us. So this movie <laughs> is... Okay, get ready, guys. So this movie is about a young girl who is of age, uh, who is a cutter. Her, you know, she cuts herself <clears throat> on her on her leg and on her arms. She, uh, her dad's abusive. He's an alcoholic. Her mom is very naive about the world. Has sheltered her, so she, you know, deals with that trauma by cutting herself. So she has an accident. She cuts herself way too deeply. Uh, so they they put her in a mental institution for a while. She gets out. They're trying to get her to. Uh, have a normal life so they convince her to get a job so she gets a job as a secretary working for james spader he's a lawyer but his name is not james spader. no his name is not james spader i cannot recall his name in the movie oh you're uh, fired yep i know i know as i said uh, i don't do research (laughs) ahead of time i just uh our movie expert doesn't even know character names (laughs) the movie was so good yeah i'm done i'm not even well see i wasn't planning on talking about this movie this episode (laughs) but uh his name, amazingly, is Mr. Gray. Mr. Gray. Yeah. Two thumbs so down. it's a very, it's a, yeah, she likes it so much, which I also enjoy. It's a very Fifty Shades of Gray esque type movie. So he's it came in, out before Fifty Shades. He's into <laughs> he's into uh, S and M. What happens is he uh, he sees her scar, he sees her wounds, healing mm-hmm. wounds, one day by accident. So what he decides to do is he uh, starts giving her some pretty good spankings at work, stuff like that, and to, and you know, oddly it keeps her from uh, cutting herself. She's like, well, if I'm going to get spanked at work, eh, I don't need to cut myself. 
So you know, that's not the only thing he does. There's a lot of stuff. So you spoiling? So no, no, no. no so he, so no, no, no. So he, you know, he he's doing things humiliating her at work and all, all kind of stuff. So she's into it. So after a while, uh, she decides that she wants to be in a relationship with him, and he's like, no, no, no. This is not a relationship thing. I just like to humiliate women for a while, and then I move on to another woman. So the movie is about how she's trying to get him to fall in love with her and his resistance, and mm-hmm. it's a uh, you know, it's a erotic uh, love story, I guess. You would say. Okay. So it's pretty entertaining. It's pretty entertaining. I have you should to check it out. Yeah. I feel like there's got to be some level of spoilage in there. You know what I mean? Nope. There's Actually. If, if, if What if I was watching the movie and I didn't know she was going to entertain a relationship with the person? And actually, you just told that's me in the preview. She gets involved in a relationship with the man. You know what I mean? Previews off the movie. I didn't, I didn't know I she did was going to be in a relationship she, with I didn't him. say she got in a relationship. What I said she wants to be in a relationship with him. Well, I didn't know she wanted that. Well, now you do. Now I do. I'm now spoiled. You do. No, no, the no. question is, do we actually waste time watching this movie oh knowing God. that most movies he recommends? Suck? We always no, do, no, no. We no, always, no, no. We always torture ourselves because he says to. It and is, we always end up the same. It is not because the movies I recommend suck. It is because you have shitty taste in yes, movies. That is the problem. we don't disagree. <laughs> we might have shitty taste. But your movies always suck. Right, right. So I think it's, it's a pretty good movie. It is. I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing. It just is what it is. Right. I think it's a good movie. I think you should give it a chance. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, then we waste your time. <laughs> well, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah. All right. Well, I think we have to wrap it up. Yeah, I believe, I believe we're about out of time. So. That's episode two. Guys, thank you for listening. If you're still around, if you're still here, smash that support button. Hit that subscribe button. That's tell it. us that you love us. Subscribe Comment button. down below and tell us what you think of the movies. <laughs> Send us an email. Hit the notification bell so you know yes, when we upload yes, yes. the next uh, video. That's it. Make sure that you get to know when we upload again. It's been fun so far. Yep. All right. See you next week.